Here's a picture of the Mississippi River coming down right here. See the bottlenose? Okay. Here's Tennessee. Okay. I want to point this out because in ancient maps you'll see this river and this bottlenose telling you to come over to the right hand. Okay. Now bear with me. I'm going to show you what I'm talking about on a map. And uh, there's a lot more details on this aerial, but I want to bear with me so I'll show you what I'm talking about. All right, this is a, a wall map in Pompeii. Okay, and of course I marked it here so you can see the river coming down. It's an aerial, and the bottom knows, and over here is David in between these two lines. There's a picture of David there. I'll show you, and here's a guy looking over at him. There's his eye, his nose, his mustache. He's looking over at David right here on the Walk Pompeii. Well then you go east and there's a new temple and it lays out the aerial there. It shows the, the, what it looks like from there which I can show you. It talks about the new temple, the new Jerusalem and it shows a staircase. If you go down and look up on the wall that's when you see the picture of David and El looking across him, and the new temple would be Solomon. So uh, you'll probably see a picture of Solomon too. Let's get a picture of David here, so you can see maybe a better picture. You can see him right here. Okay, there's his eyes, nose, his hair going around, his face wider. Uh, when you see this post, I'm hoping it'll be better. And of course, there's El looking over at him. Talking about the new temple, and here's the river coming down, okay, the bottlenose. And it shows a lot of details that I don't want to go into right now, but watch what I'm talking about. When you follow it, and you look up on the wall where it tells you the area at Ruby Falls, the new temple, there's the mark right there. There is David right there. There's El, see him? Looking over David, and then up here, here we have Solomon. See his nose, there's his eye, eye, his forehead, his hair. See, I got it marked, and there's his chin. He's got a little chin beard. We've got engraved pictures and everything that confirm this. I want to go ahead and post this so you'll know what I'm talking about. There's a lot to this, ladies and gentlemen, and we brought it to you live here on Ancient Cartography.